need computer training for a group or office, contact us today to get a free demo of our training at www.teachucomp.com forward slash enterprise dash licensing. You can click into the text within a bounding box to apply text effects to the bounding box. When you click into a text box with one of the type tools, you should see the bounding box appear, assuming that the text that you clicked into is not point text. You can move your mouse pointer over one of these small square handles within the bounding box until you see your mouse pointer turn into a double pointed arrow. When you see this, you can click and drag to expand the border of the bounding box. If you hold the shift key down while you do this, you'll resize the bounding box without warping its proportions. To rotate the bounding box, roll your mouse pointer outside of the bounding border by one of these corner square handles until you see your mouse pointer turn into a small bent double pointed arrow. At that point, click and drag to rotate the bounding box. If you hold down the shift key as you do this, you'll constrain the rotation to 15 degree increments. To move the bounding box to a different location within your image, hold down the control key on your keyboard and then click and drag the small circle that appears in the center of the bounding box to a new location within the image. If you want to skew the bounding box, which gives your text a slanted appearance, hold down the control key and then click and drag one of the small squares that appear at the top, bottom, left, or right sides of the bounding box to skew the text. You can even perform this action on point text. Also note that if you hold down the control key and then click and drag using one of the corner points, you will scale the text to fit the new bounding box. This also works with point type as well. Like what you see? Get a free demo of our training for groups of five or more at www.teachucomp.com forward slash enterprise dash licensing.